Hello all, this is Nero Seller. In this video, I am going to show you how to install and set up Couchbase server for your local project in Windows. Let's go to the official website to download Couchbase server installer. We'll click on this link, and there you can find Couchbase server. It is available for Enterprise and Community Edition. You can download any one of the installer. Also, you can compare the features of both the edition. Full features are provided by Enterprise Edition. So, I am going to download installer for Enterprise Edition. You can download any version from the list. Let us download current version. You need to execute this MSI file to install Couchbase server in your PC. Click on next install. It takes couple of minutes. Installation is completed. This URL will take you to the Cosbase console. Cosbase server is upon default port 8091. Now we need to configure the server as we don't have existing cluster, so we will set up a new cluster. We can give any name to the cluster. Now we need to create username and password. and we need to accept the terms and conditions here we can proceed with default configuration or we can configure memory as per our need cluster is up and running on localhost we can change the memory allocated also the data path You need to save this configuration and proceed to the console. This is your Couchbase console. Here you can manage servers and buckets. As we have not created any bucket, so we will create a new one. We can give any name like first bucket. and we need to add some memory to that bucket let it be 200 in our project we will be creating cause base and ephemeral bucket there are some advanced settings we will enable the flush button here our first bucket has been created and 200 maybe byte have been allocated to this bucket now we will create a new document in this bucket you can give any unique name to that bucket this document is in JSON format so we will save and proceed a document with ID 1001 has been created our Couchbase server is up and ready to use We will use localhost as cluster URL and administrator as username and password. And our bucket name is first bucket. We will override all this configuration in our local project. Thanks for watching my video.